my friend had anorexia. She danced and performed and painted like the world had never tried to hide her light. She won awards for stage makeup and went to school every day with her homework immaculately done, even though she had a million and one extracurricular clubs. To me, she was my friend. We laughed and talked our lunches away. We moaned about homework and teachers. In class, it was like we had our own little club. We ignored the whispers that followed us down hallways. We smiled in defiance at someone mentioned food. She didn't try to hide her past because it wasn't something she should have been afraid of. She had fought and she had won. Why should she be afraid, ashamed of that? But to them, it didn't matter what else she was. In fact, she had anorexia became her only identity. To them, it didn't matter that she was a reader, a writer, a traveler, a makeup artist who could hide the biggest of scars because she couldn't hide those words that burned like fire over her life. She was anorexic. And it didn't matter how many years she put between herself and that hospital bed or how hard she worked to be more than the spectre who lay there. She didn't have an illness to them. She was the illness. Never more than seven stone, she ate lunch like everyone else. She taught us about her passions and her past. She tried to get past it to move on, but whispers followed her and echoed as she ate her sandwich. I was carefully watching for the moment she would refuse food. It didn't matter that she didn't like cake, she was anorexic. It became her only identity, was anorexic, is anorexic. One word to sum her up, anorexic, they laughed. She was out of school for the day performing in a dance competition. She won, but it didn't matter to them. They found it more fun to joke about hospitals and tubes with paste in place of food. The illness consumed her life. The cause of the past dug in so deep she couldn't escape. She started saying she was anorexic, unable to fight the label she had been given. She retreated into herself. Report cards slid down the alphabet and she stopped going to clubs. When she was asked to sum up herself with one word, she didn't choose student or daughter or dancer, she stayed quiet because that word silence was louder than any voice. When she died, they didn't mention her achievements. No one spoke about how she moved to music or how she read two books a week or how she aced every test. She was depressed. She was anorexic. She knew she was better than that, but when you're told day in and day out who you are isn't enough, sometimes you start believing that. She was more than an illness, and two words only made up a fraction of her magnificent presence. She was a star in the sky. It wasn't her fault they only saw the night. <laughs>